Sasuke is going to die. I know when you guys hear that sentence, your first reaction is probably to freak the f*** out. And I don't blame you. I love Sasuke just as much as the next guy. Okay, maybe not as much as that guy. But after reading this last Boruto chapter, it's looking like my favorite deadbeat dad is going to die. Everything that's been said leading up to this chapter and the things that were said in this chapter point straight to this. Now I'll try to minimize the amount of spoilers I throw out since this is Boruto manga sh And I know most people are not caught up. So slight spoiler alert. Anyways, there's been things before this chapter that were pointing to this and one of those things is Sasuke giving away his headband permanently. I know he let Boruto hold it before but in chapter 69 we see Boruto try to give the headband back and Sasuke tells him to keep that sh pretty much. And in the same chapter I think he talks about how he might have to be the one to show his resolve next. Now this can mean multiple things but I know for sure Sasuke is talking about some sort of sacrifice. Whether it's him or someone else. Most likely it's him. Another thing that's kind of a red flag is the enemies that are at hand. You got Cold and these f***ing Frieza clones and you got Ada and her brother who aren't much of a threat right now for certain reasons but were originally some sort of threat. Ada is a cyborg who hasn't really showed any combat abilities. She just can't fight. But has a special power that can only be countered by an Otsuki or Blood relative. Meaning there's only three people in the entire verse that has a chance against her. And Sasuke is not one. Now this special power happens to be the power of love. Yep, love. Her thing is if anyone encounters her they won't be able to resist falling in love with her. A love so strong that anyone who she meets won't be able to attack her. There are ways that I can see Sasuke potentially being the one exception to this rule. Maybe he'll still be able to fire her by casting a genjutsu on himself. Or maybe he'll be able to fire her just because Sasuke is normally able to kill people that he loves. If it's for his purpose. We see him try to kill Naruto for example. God. Damn! Or it could be the complete opposite since the Uchiha clan love the hardest. And this could be an ability that actually affects Sasuke the most because of his heritage. I don't know. Another thing that happens is Hinata's interaction with Boruto before he goes out on his mission. We see her crying and shit and talking about how she's always worried that he might not make it back from his mission. And right after that conversation, Boruto is confronted by Momoshiki. And for the bajillionth damn time, he tells him that very soon he will lose everything. But this time, he puts a strong emphasis on the very soon. Now, I don't think right now would be a great time for Sasuke's death. It'll be kind of weird. I think they should let him have some more moments with Boruto and Sarada. You know, training and shit. So that way when the time comes, they'll be loaded with flashbacks. You know Kishimoto loves his flashbacks. But I know for sure his death is coming soon. Again, I'm not looking forward to it, but it's gotta happen eventually. The man's wearing his cloak. But that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and smash the like button. And while you're at it, drop down below what you think is gonna happen to Sasuke. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Boot out.